Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Pavin. I'm a beach volleyball Olympian and world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. <sighs> Last episode, townsperson B, we got a little bit of Yachi's story. The tough love with her mom who just really wanted her to find her thing and how she was like unsure. We know that our, our girl's a little anxiety ridden um, and is just a ball of <laughs> nervous energy but to see her finally stand up for what she wanted and have he not help her do that was just like, she is not townsperson B anymore, okay? And the fundraiser and then that scene at the end where he saw, he not saw himself on the poster and that's the same place where he saw the little giant playing, like it was all full circle. It was all inspiring. I was crying, you were crying. Um, I feel like Yachi, she already has a special place in my heart, but I feel like that place is even gonna grow bigger. So I'm so excited to see where we go from here. Um, the boys are finding out about their exams. So hopefully they will be allowed to go to Tokyo so we can see our favorite team, Nakoma, other than Karasuno. But here we go, season two, episode four of Haikyuu. I can't wait. Okay, we got episode four, center ace. You know what? I'm just gonna throw this out there. I think they're talking about my boy Kuro, which means Nakoma's gonna make an appearance, which means I am fully invested. Here we go. Okay, so they made it to Tokyo. That's still not a pass. これ、Oh my gosh, I love him. I knew it was going to be Yamamoto. A pretty one and a cute one. Oh, I saw his hair. Guys, first of all, a 42 is not a pass. So how did Noya get to go? Okay. Also, they failed. I'm really upset about this. I feel like they're gonna find a way to get there but I'm really sad because they studied so hard for like a day. Also, what is kanji? Somebody hit me up in those comments, please. And I just wanna say, Kuro, yes. That's all. Oh, 
それなら募集は午前中で終わるはずだそしたら俺が救世主を呼んでやろう All right, so like a makeup test. Tanaka's sister! Psycho. How are they letting her drive them? Does she work for the school? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is the savior. This is killing me. I'm surprised the school let her drive them, to be honest. They seem very by the book. Nikomata, cat coach. My heart's racing. Oh my gosh, there's my boy. Oh sh! Whoa! <laughs> Let's press pause. Who? was that person oh my gosh um the first guy can we put a pause on that who is that from ubugawa high school volleyball club i'm dead i am speechless i'm scared oh. oh All in one day? Lev. Cat I Lev. He has similar hair to Hinata.
エースにおんぶに抱っこ状態になってたまるかって奮い立つ姉さん小さな巨人に壊しんす別にたまたま何回か試合見ただけだしどうしたのかよ腹が減ってあるんだよあんなのままとままかはい見られることで俺たちが弱くなることはない自分がエースであることは絶対的プライドと自信Oh my gosh, I love that perspective so much. Just like when, it's like that Spider Man quote. I don't know if any of you have watched that, but like with great power comes great responsibility. And I feel like it's kind of tied to this is like when you're the ace, you have so much responsibility on your shoulders because you lift everybody up around you. And like by being you and by being in that position of power, Nobody wants you to fail, and nobody wants to be the reason the team fails, so everybody rises together. And I think that that was so cool.、Um, that little side story. Fukuro Dani. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> Fukuro Dani. Somebody help me with the pronunciation. Oh gosh. Hmm. Who is the Ubugawa guy? Tarako, there we go. Well, Kawa serve will be nothing. Nice. <laughs> Yachi <Yachty> lies. <laughs> That guy's hair got that perm. Shinzen High School. Oof. Glasses. Okay, that was a lot of information at once. So let me see if I've got it. Ubugawa, Ubugawa, interesting name, are very good at serving. Shinzen is very good at the combo attack plays.、Uh, Fukuro Dani is very good. <laughs> um, Nakoma is really good at defense and waiting for the perfect moment to do the counter attack. Okay. Are we going to be seeing all of these teams regularly? Maybe. I've got a lot to keep track of here. I kind of like it, but it's good that Karasuna was playing against these teams because this is the level that they have to get to if they want to be the best. So, sure, get their butts kicked now. Absolutely, it's probably going to happen, but it'll be good for them. I know it. Yo! 
Ubugawa. Ooh, not a good set. Oh. My gosh, I love that. I love his eyebrows. Making an entrance. Mm. Okay, hello. I'm also very in tune with eyebrows because Number one's hair, though. Nice touch. Looks like a cauliflower hair. Oh, nice. No diving drills this game. Strong opponents are good at adjusting. The arm so Number four is hair, though. Well, it seems that Lev has gotten a little bit better since the um, in-between episode where he had just joined the team and was like super awkward, had trouble hitting the ball. I said at the time, I thought that he reminded me of Hinata, but like maybe a little worse. <laughs> but it looks like he's gotten a lot better and his height will definitely help him. Um, but okay, very interesting. Inwoka, I know I said that wrong, is on the bench now. So maybe they're thinking that Lev will be the center ace. No, they're not. No, it's Kuro. I can't accept anything else. Number four's hair, that was terrible. Oh, 
ハイバーリエーフロシア人と日本人のハーフだよおおおおおおおおリエーフなんだっけロシア語でトラシシッツねライオン前の時はいなかったよなうんリエーフは高校からバレー始めたからカラスのに行ったゴールデンウィークあたりはまだほぼ素人で、うん、あの時はベンチ入りメンバーしか行ってないからねあれで高校からうんそれなのに一緒に組まされたりして大変だった合わせようとしてもタイミングいつもバラバラだったしもう慣れたけどうわ研磨さんため息ばっかついてましたもんね<笑>メモまでも読めないことってあるんだな BF が特殊すぎるんだよ今はほぼもともとの身体能力とセンスだけでやってるねあと身長確かにあの身長はずるい分けてほしいいろいろ恵まれすぎつでも負けないっつ、oh、今は戦力になるし素直だし嫌なやつじゃないよたまに素直すぎるけどでもパスとかの基礎はまだ全然ダメ商用よりもダメサーブも商用より下手くそ研磨の下手くその基準は俺なのかよあの研磨が人見知りせずに喋ってるよ Oh my god, first of all, I know I've said this before in season one, but Ken Munch and Hinata's friendship is absolutely adorable. So great. Also, I have a bone to pick. Okay, this might not be a popular opinion, but when people say, like, oh, so tall, blessed, not fair, blah, blah, blah. Have, has, does anybody think, you know, how hard it is for a tall people to like get close to the ground, dive, play defense, do serve receive. No, people only think about how easy it is for tall people, like blocking and hitting and things like that. But like there are an equal number of challenges for volleyball in being tall that people don't think about. So I'm gonna have Lev's back here and say, yes, great. He was given height, which is typically an asset, but there are a lot of things that height works against in volleyball too, if you want to play like the full skill set. Okay. Hello. What every short person asks tall people. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, of course he's upset about it. But he can ask the tall question. Oh my gosh.
okay, I have a couple thoughts. First of all, Lev, you started playing volleyball like a month ago and you could barely hit it. You have gotten better, my dude, you have. But to say that you're the ace already is a little premature, maybe a little cocky. I think Kuro and Yamamoto might have something to say about that. Just saying. Also, looks like Hinata's got another little confidence booster now that he has it in his head that the middle blocker can be the ace. So now he is just going to, I hope this doesn't affect him because he wanted to be the ace forever. People were teaching him of how important his role is as a decoy and to like do his job and how everybody has a very important job on the team and he bought into that. But now hearing Lev say that the center can be the ace, I really hope that that doesn't mess with, you know, his attitude and everything that the Karasuno team has worked to build. So I'm a little concerned there. It looks like Lev might be my high Q twin. Body, body type wise, I mean. We all know that Aoni and me are eyebrow friends. Um, but Lev, 194 centimeters, I am 196 centimeters. And Lev is very tall and skinny. And I am also quite uh, long and lean. So I feel like Lev is my body double so far in high Q. Um, but we'll, we'll keep Ioni in the conversation for, for this discussion. Oh, boof. Okay. Nakamata is very wise. Interesting, is that foreshadowing? Does Karasuna want stability to achieve more power or do they want evolution? Stability, I'm assuming, and I'm making some connections here, is like traditional volleyball, the ace is on the left, um, somebody who plays all the way around, whereas evolution is allowing the middle blocker to be the ace, the center ace. So I think he's asking questions of how the team will evolve and like use their tools, whether they're gonna stay with what is known and normal or if they will branch out the way that Lev thinks Nakoma is. Um, interesting. 
I do think that um, Lev has gone better. I know I've said it, but fun fact, when it's like a free ball, or as they say in high cue, like a chance ball play, it is very common that the hitters yell what they want. So I know that they were discussing, Kenma and Lev were discussing how like the slide, which is jumping behind the setter off of one foot was unplanned. I don't know if Lev called it or not, maybe he didn't and Kenma just had to react. But like normally when you have time, the hitters call what they want and the setter just listens. So um, that was really interesting to see, but okay. That was a, a lot of new characters, some new schools, some new like ideas around volleyball. Um, so I thought that that was really, really cool. I'm glad that Kageyama and Hinata made it. Although I am very disappointed that they still failed their exam. I don't care if he put them in the wrong order or not, like, come on. Um, but I'm very interested to see where this goes. So I asked a couple questions. Be sure to help me out in the comments below. And I love your guys' commentary and ideas. So like definitely keep them coming. I do read them. Um, and as always, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel so that we can hang out and enjoy more volleyball related content together. Thanks.